it makes me worry I never left being 10, to be honest, because it was quite a, I think Grace had been in my head for quite a long time, um, and she was just looking for an escape route. Um, so it was, it was quite nice to write from a 10 year old's point of view, definitely, because you're seeing things without a filter, she hasn't got an agenda, so it's quite good to be able to deliver to the reader um, the views of a child. I think we needed a catalyst, basically, for the book. Um, the story's about a very ordinary avenue in England in the 70s, and everybody living on the avenue is very upright and very um, respectable and doesn't let this appearance slip. They're, they're very good at um, maintaining it, but I think we needed a catalyst to get the neighbours to break down a little bit and for their true selves to come out. And um, what better catalyst than heat? Uh, so I needed something where the temperatures um, rocketed and everybody who lived through the, the drought has huge memories of it. Um, and people behave very differently in extreme temperatures, whether it's cold or heat. Uh, so I wanted um, something to, to reflect how the avenue was falling apart and the, the residents were falling apart. So the environment starts falling about as well with the high temperatures, the, the melting tarmac and the, the cracked lawns. It's about communities and it's about how communities are very powerful. They can be very good, they can be very positive. They're a huge protective factor of mental illness, for example. Uh, but they can be very negative as well. Um, and I was looking at ways communities came together and religion is obviously a way that people um, bond with each other uh, for a common purpose and I wanted to explore the fact there are other common purposes that perhaps aren't quite as noble that people bond together for. Psychiatry um, is a specialty where your patient might not necessarily be telling you the truth so with the, the kind of writers huge motto of showing not telling. Psychiatry is the ultimate showing not telling because if you work in A&E as I have done and you get somebody coming with chest pain, they're telling the truth. You know that everything they tell you is factual. They're a good historian, but with psychiatry, they're not so good at telling you the truth because they might be frightened, they feel vulnerable, they might be terrified or ashamed. So you've got to look at the choice of words and the way the words are delivered rather than the words themselves. So I think it, it teaches you a lot about showing things in a novel rather than just telling the reader. Oh, because you think it's got to be somebody who's written a lot of books, so you get a lot of books. But then quality, quantity, I'm going to say Rachel Joyce. I think Harold Fry would keep me company if I were on a desert island and he would, he would knock some sense into me.